Subscribe to our channel. VPN provides you with tools and information to help you run your business smoothly. So you're deciding on which state to form your LLC in. You've narrowed it down, but can't decide between Texas and California. I'm here to provide more insight on the differences so you can find your fit. Keep watching. Naming your LLC. You wouldn't think that naming rules for your LLC are different in each state, but they are. Let's look at it. Let's start with Texas name rules. Your name cannot imply that the LLC is organized for an unlawful purpose. The words insurance or surety must be accompanied by other words that remove the implication that the entity's purpose is to be an insurer. The name may include the phrase insurance agency, insurance agent, surety agency, or surety agent. Here's what you cannot do. You cannot include the words lotto or lottery. You cannot imply that the LLC was created by or for the benefit of war veterans or their families. The following words are expressly prohibited. Veteran, legion, foreign, Spanish, disabled, war, and world war. You cannot include words that can confuse your LLC with a government agency, like FBI, Treasury, State Department, etc. And lastly, you cannot include the words bank, bank and trust, trust, trust company, or a similar term, phrase, or foreign language word unless accompanied by a no objection letter from the banking commissioner. Now let's dive into California's name rules. To register a name for an LLC in California, it must not be misleading to the public, if the proposed name creates a false implication of government affiliation, words like but are not limited to agency, commission, department, bureau, division, municipal, or board. The name of the limited liability company may not include the words insurer or insurance company or any word suggesting that it's in the business of issuing policies of insurance and assuming insurance risks. Lastly, the name of the limited liability company may not include the words bank, trust, trustee, incorporated, inc, corporation, or corp. Name availability search. Here are ways to check if your name is available in Texas. You can call state business information at 512-463-5555. They're available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time. You can email the Secretary of State at corpinfo at sos.texas.gov and request a check name availability. You can run an online search through Texas Comptroller's Tax Entity Search or through the Secretary of State's SOS Direct site. The taxable entity search is free, but SOS Direct charges $1 per search. A tip, even if you search your LLC's name on the taxable entity search page and it seems available, it's still a good idea to call and confirm. The reason most LLC's filings are rejected is due to business name issues. Name Reservation In Texas, for a fee of $40, you can reserve a name for 120 days. In California, if you're unsure whether or not the name you want to use is already taken, you can perform a business search provided by the California Secretary of State. Also, in the state of California, you're able to reserve a name for your LLC for a period up to 60 days. The fee is $10. Choosing your business address. Business addresses are where you want your communication to be received for your business. These are different per state. In Texas, you don't need a business address as a requirement. As opposed to California, you have to list the California business address on your articles of organization. You can't list a PO box for your business address. Another rule is you'll have to list the physical street address in the state of California as your business address. Some options are your home address. It's free, but it compromises your privacy. So we don't recommend this. A virtual office provides a physical address and office-related services without the high overhead costs of leasing or owning an office space. And lastly, a virtual mailbox provides a permanent business address that acts as a mailing address at which you receive mail and packages. This one is your best bet. Overall, for your California business address, if you want an address that will protect your privacy and you don't need the physical space, try VPM's virtual mailbox. Designate a registered agent. Let's start with Texas. In Texas, you'll only need one address to form a Texas entity, the street address of your registered agent. When you register your company, the address gets listed as your place of business in the state's permanent records. Some key points to remember for Texas is an LLC cannot act as its own registered agent. It's important to file a statement with the Secretary of State to effect a change to the certificate of formation. Failure to maintain a registered agent and registered office may result in the involuntary termination of the LLC. Also, the registered agent must have a physical street address in Texas, and although the registered office is not required to be the entity's principal place of business, the registered office can't be yourself, a P.O. box address, or a mailbox rental service or telephone answering service. Here's how registered agents work in California. California requires you to choose a registered agent who agrees to accept the liabilities of the company if the LLC undergoes a lawsuit. 
These agents must live in California and must be listed in the Articles of Organization. The registered agent can be a person or a company. P.O. boxes are not allowed in California also. Unlike Texas, an LLC can act as its own registered agent. File a Certificate of Formation in Texas or Articles of Organization in California. Articles of Organization, sometimes also called Certificate of Formation, are legal documents that outline key details of your LLC. It's like a birth certificate for your LLC. Let's start with Texas. The filing fee is $300. You create a Texas LLC by filing a certificate of formation with the Secretary of State. LLCs are required to list the names and addresses of people who will be making the business decisions in the LLC, which can be members or managers. At least one member or manager must be listed. You only need one address to form a Texas entity, the street address of your Texas registered agent like we covered earlier. There's a full video of how to complete your Texas LLC and bonus of free registered agent services. Go to the description link below. You must provide the initial mailing address for the entity. The initial mailing address is the address that will be used by the Comptroller of Public Accounts for sending tax information and correspondence to the entity. Your LLC will be approved in 13 to 15 business days if you file online using the SOS upload. Check out our video on forming your Texas LLC. Let's go over California. There's a one-time filing fee of $70 in order to file your articles of organization and register your LLC. It requires a cover sheet sent out with a form. Although the California Articles of Organization do not list the members of the LLC in the articles, California requires the LLC to file a statement of information within 90 days of the approval of the LLC. More about the statement of information for California in the next section. The Statement of Information does require a list of the LLC's members, and it does not become public record. You'll have to list a physical street address in the state of California as your business address. A PO box is not accepted. Standard processing time for submissions is approximately 5 business days from the receipt. Check out our California LLC formation video below. Statement of Information This only pertains to California and is not needed for your Texas LLC. All LLCs in California must file an initial statement of information within 90 days of the business being formed, and then every two years by your LLC's anniversary date, which again includes the location of the company. If you fail to file within the 60-day grace period, the business activity provided by the LLC, which is what the purpose of your company is, and the agreement to pay California tax obligations. The filing fee is $20. The purpose of the Statement of Information is to keep your California LLC's contact information up to date with the Secretary of State. There is a penalty fee. The Secretary of State will give you a 60-day grace period, counted from the date you've been notified for failure to file, within which you must file the Statement of Information. You have to pay a $250 penalty. If you continue to ignore this requirement, the Secretary of State may shut down your LLC. Obtain Business Licenses both Texas and California don't require or issue a generic business operating license on the state level. All entities that transact business in Texas are required to register with the Texas Secretary of State or County Clerk's Office. As a result, the Certificate of Formation received from the Secretary of State's Office, or the assumed name the certificate provided by the County's Clerk Office, satisfies the general business license requirement that exists within other states. But individual cities within Texas are allowed to require a general license. You'll need to check with your Texas city and county to confirm that you're getting the correct local licenses and permits to do the work you want to do. The only state-level permit or license in Texas is a sales tax permit, also known as a seller's permit. All Texas-based businesses are required to obtain a sales use and tax permit if engage in business in Texas and sell, lease, or rent property in the state, sell any taxable goods or services within the state, also remote businesses that sell products or services. To apply for this permit, head to the Texas Comptroller's website, Texas Online Tax Registration Application, or fill out the Texas Application for Sales and Use Tax Permit, Form AP201, and mail it to the Comptroller's office at the address listed on the form. It's free to apply. You will not need to reapply for the permit as long as you're still operating your business and collecting sales tax. Depending on where your California LLC is located and the industry it engages in, you may need to get certain California business licenses and permits. If your business sells goods or services that normally have sales tax applied in a retail store, your California LLC will need to register for sales tax. The registration is called the seller's permit. You can get a seller's permit for your LLC in California online for free. It's valid for as long as your LLC is conducting business. Annual Franchise Tax 
Texas, unlike most states where the LLC annual report is filed with the Secretary of State, the LLC annual report in Texas is called the Franchise Tax Report and Public Information Report. It's filed with the Texas Comptroller's Office. Texas Franchise Tax is described as a privilege tax imposed on each taxable entity formed or organized in Texas or doing business in Texas. Public Information Report This is Texas-specific. The Public Information Report, or PIR, is due on the date the Franchise Tax Report is due, on or before May 15th every year. Even if the Franchise Tax Report is filed and all taxes are paid, the corporate privileges may be forfeited for failure to file the completed, signed PIR. Texas generally only collects from the entities that meet minimum revenue thresholds. The majority of LLCs in Texas fall under the no tax due threshold, which is currently $1,230,000 in annualized total revenue. Therefore, the type of franchise tax report they file is the no tax due report. When the no tax due report is filed online via web file, a public information report is included with it. PIRs list the names and addresses of the LLC officers, directors, managers, or members as applicable. California. All California LLCs, regardless of total revenue or activity, must pay an annual minimum tax of $800. You have to pay it by the 15th day of the fourth month after the beginning of the current tax year. You can pay the tax online, by mail, or in person at the California Franchise Tax Board field offices. If your California LLC will have over $250,000 in gross annual tax receipt or total revenue, you must also file and pay an estimated fee using Form 3536. LLCs must pay the fee by the 15th day of the sixth month of the current tax year. Once a PIR has been processed by the Comptroller of Public Accounts, it's then forwarded to the Secretary of State. Management information taken from the PIR is maintained by the Secretary of State and can be accessed by the public. Some other things to note before we go. California does not allow the formation of a series LLC while Texas does. In Texas, you can form a professional corporation, professional association, or professional LLC. In California, you cannot. Lastly, Texas is among nine states in the U.S. with no state income tax. Compared to California's progressive tax rates ranging from 1 to 12.3% for the highest income earners. Whew, that was a lot of information. Have you decided which state to form your LLC in yet? If you have more questions, leave them down below. Learn more.